सेल्फ ड्राइविंग कार्स Use technology to navigate and drive without human intervention, and they use sensors to perceive their environment. So let's look at some important sensors used here: lidar, camera, radar, infrared sensors, ultrasonic sensors, GPS, and so on. Lidar or light detection and ranging uses laser beams to create a 3D map of the vehicle surroundings. Radar measures the speed and distance of objects effective in low visibility conditions. Cameras capture visual data to recognize objects like vehicles, pedestrians and road signs. Ultrasonic sensors are used for short range detection especially during low speed maneuvers like parking. Inertial measurement unit or IMU tracks the vehicle's acceleration and orientation so a combination of sensors is required to replicate the human process of understanding its environment and navigating safely to its destination here is a quick overview of features of each type of sensor remember that each sensor has its limitations let's look at overall architecture of self driving cars here is a high level overview of how this technology works sensors perception planning control and actuators are the important components here data from multiple sensors is combined in what is known as sensor fusion to create a comprehensive view of the surroundings here are some sensor fusion techniques one or more of them may be used to overcome the limitations of individual sensors object detection is an important next step to identify objects around the vehicle and depending on the kind of sensor data available one of these object detection techniques may be employed slam or simultaneous localization and mapping integrates gps and other sensor data to accurately track the vehicle's position on a map this is important for precise navigation and for this one of these slam techniques may be used once information about surrounding environment is available in real time it's time to plan where path behavior motion and trajectory is determined with the help of various algorithms or models and for this a variety of behavior path motion planning techniques are available Next the control system translates the plan into action by sending commands to actuators and for this a variety of control techniques are employed and based on the control commands actuators like steering brakes accelerator suspension essentially drive the car safely to its destination self driving cars can also communicate with other vehicles and infrastructure V2V or vehicle to vehicle technology shares information with other vehicles for safer driving and collision avoidance. V2I or vehicle to infrastructure technology communicates with infrastructure like traffic signals and road signs. Therefore, V2X helps with safe navigation on the road. So, that was a quick overview of how self driving cars work. 